Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Donnie, and you're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. And this is part two of my Star Ore haul. I have four more diamond paintings to show you. And I think I'm going to start with the smallest of the four. Um, if you watched the first video, um, you know that there were two diamond paintings that did not have the cloth-like canvas. Um, this is the second of the two. If you missed the first half of this video, this unhauling, unbagging haul, uh, you can find it in the link right up there in the eye that should be popping up any second or is already there. All right, so this one is called Sunset at Sea. And these can all be purchased on Amazon.com. I just got to flip to the right page. Okay, this one is $18.99. It's a 35 by 45. Um, not, I do believe that's the canvas size and not the drilling area. So it's probably a 30 by 40. And this is what it looks like. It is a full square. And let's open it up and take a look. Here we have our checklist the, um, inventory. There are 25 colors, and this tells you each DMC color, the symbol, how many diamonds you need of that color, and how many diamonds they sent. Which it's apparent that they did send, mm, it looks, you know, more than you need. So this pamphlet also shows you all the instructions on how to diamond paint. We'll set that to the side. And she also includes with every one of her kits uh, enough of these wax paper coverings to cover the entire image for those that do not like the clear covers and would prefer the opaque covers on their diamond painting. tool kit. On the squares you will receive the pointy tweezers, enough baggies to kit the entire thing, a white tray, a four placer, a seven placer, and a drill pin with a squishy on it. And wax. Let me set that to the side. Here are my drills. Here is the canvas and as you can see it has a key nice and big on the left hand side. The th one of the biggest things I love about Star Wars is she uses just letters and numbers. for the Instead of hard to understand symbols or hard to read symbols that just, yeah. I really appreciate the fact that there's just numbers and letters and it's nice and big, easy to read. Also on the canvas, this is just a recap for those that have not watched the first half. This is your checklist. It will tell you how many bags of each color um, are included. So this is this is actually your uh, inventory sheet that you would go by to make sure everything is here because it will tell you how many bags of each you will have. Most of the time it's only one bag. I have ran into it one time where uh, one of her diamond uh, one of the colors needed two bags. But that's the only time. But uh, this here is the more detailed as far as the exact amount. This actually tells you how many are in, in the package um, on the key. But this actually tells you um, the symbols and the number that you'll go by on the key. The checklist down here just gives you the DMC number, how many packages, and how many are in that package. But between the two, you know, that's all you need for inventory purposes. And as I said, this is square. And as you can see, uh, the, it actually has a bit of sparkle in the glue or on the canvas itself. And as far as I have, um, I, that I understand, that is actually to help make the colors stand out better on the canvas. But here is the clarity of the symbols. Let me see. Um, 
nice and clear. Uh, the thing I do appreciate here <laughs> is that the B, the lar the capital B, looks like an 8. But there is no 8 on the canvas. There is no 8 um, in any of the symbols, so 8 isn't used. So that will not be confused with anything. And this is just beautiful. Look at all those colors. And you can tell that's a sailboat. And looking through the viewfinder, which is further away than what I'm looking from up close, you can see in great detail what this is supposed to be. This sky is just magnificent. I mean, that is so beautiful. I mean, another thing is, you know, she doesn't roll them so hard that the, there, it creases them and indents them, you know, to the point where you need to iron it or find another way to get it perfectly flat. I have not done anything, not even remove the cover of this yet, and it is already flattened. Um, some people would still prefer to, to iron them. Uh, I don't, but I will just pull this back to get the little bit of wrinkles out of the cover that is put in here. And look at how shiny that glue is. It is so pretty. I hate even to touch it because then my fingerprint gets left in it and then it's not so perfect anymore. But this glue is the poured glue that's poured on and then they rub it back and forth onto it. It is not a sticker, a double-sided adhesive sticker like you see on uh, most Chinese um, sellers use. If you see this cellophane cover, more than likely it's going to be poured glue most of the time. Um, there have been a couple of places where I've actually had the cellophane cover and it was an actual adhesive sticker, but it was clear. So don't be fooled by a cellophane cover. That doesn't always necessarily mean that it is poured glue. But in this case, it is poured glue. And... Yeah, this is beautiful. So the drilling area is 40 by 30. Uh, it says here the fabric size is 44 by 35. I will measure it real quick. I have a doctor's appointment to get to today, so I wanted to get these done before. It's almost 40, but I'm not going to have the time. And it's exactly 30, so that is right on the nose. All right, let's look at these drills. All right, I'm going to count. I'm going to do my inventory check real quick, and I'll be back with you in about five seconds. Okay, all 25 are here. And by the way, there are 25 colors in this package, in this kit. I have a couple of loose drills, but I'll keep an eye out to see if I have an open package here. So let's look at some of these colors. Uh, let's see. This is a darker red. It's a 321. 666 is my favorite. And this right here is 606. It's almost as bright as 666, but not quite. And then we have the famous 550. Lots of other really bright, beautiful cool colors. There's, um, let's see, 3371. So this is, I think, like a, I think that's that cappuccino color because it's like a dark brown, almost black, but not quite. But there are no 310s in this. There's 300 and then 311. Um, there's not even 939s. There's some 823s, uh, which is this one right here. But that's, those are the dark colors. The rest are really bright. Um, so yeah, that's a. If you want to, if you want to get into um, trying a square, you're. 
you would want to probably go with something that's fun and beautiful and bright. I, I mean, at least for me, that would make it fun to work on something um, with this much color. I mean, I like color blocking. This this has a lot of color blocking, not a lot of uh, confetti. So I would have a lot of fun doing this one. So again, this one is called Sunset at Sea, and I will link to you down below where you can purchase this on Amazon. And I will be back in a moment to get on to the second diamond painting. Okay, on to the second one. This next one is called Bless This Home. It's a 40 by 52. And like I said in the previous ones, I'm thinking that's the canvas size. So this one is round with rhinestones and AB diamonds. And this is what it looks like. Okay, that's a little small here. I'll show you. This one's $25.99 on Amazon. And it is Prime available. So there's a little better picture of it. Beautiful colors. I cannot wait to see what this looks like. So we have, ooh, 25 colors. Oh my goodness. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rhinestone colors and two ABs. Ooh boy, look at that. Look at that list. So these bottom two are the AB colors right there. And these are all rhinestones. Woohoo. All right. Here's our toolkit. Same as always, plenty of bags to put all your colors in. Here's our drills, beautiful rhinestones. All right, let's look at this canvas. Oh, here's our wax papers. Try and flatten them. Stick them over here. All right. Here we go. Oh my gosh, look at how pretty this is, you guys. It's stained glass, so it has plenty of color blocking. They're not huge color blocks, but I find that when there's color blocking like this, um, I can get them done quicker. That is like a, why I like the Mandy Manzanos a lot, because they are all stained glass images so there are color there's color blocking not as much as this but this is a much simpler image uh, mandy's are a lot more detailed and larger most of the time so this i could just see myself whipping this out actually pretty quickly i love it okay so let's see where let me straighten this a little bit and then we'll see where all these rhinestones and ABs go. Look at the beautiful shiny glue on that. Alright, let's, let's flatten that side out a little bit. This side's pretty flat so I don't need to do it over here. Um, Alright, well, let's see. Uh, T, lowercase T and large V. So these big V's right here, those are AB. All these, green color, all the way around, all the way, all the way around. So those are Ryan, um, AB, not rhinestone. Um, the brighter yellow, that's the other AB color. So the small T is this yellow color. So it's in here, it's throughout here, here, all the way around, and a little bit in the lettering. Wow. So J is, capital J is another yellow color. Oh, okay, the one in the lettering, that's a rhinestone color. It's not the same shade as the T in here, but looks like this is the only place that they have it is in here and then a so i'm thinking the words are where the rhinestones are 
So, okay, R, yep, the red. And then P is also M, yep. Z, that's also a rhinestone. A, M, Z, A, yep. So all the whole, all the words, that's where the rhinestones are. And then for the AB colors, it's this green that goes all the way around and the yellow, the bright yellow that goes all the way around throughout. Those are AB, these are rhinestones that are in the words, and then the rest are normal round gems. So here's the drill field. This one is extremely clear. I'm not having any issues seeing it at all, even in the reds. So the printing on this one turned out really good. And of course we have that beautiful key that has just letters and numbers. And down here, the checklist, it shows there's one, oh, there's one color, one bag of each color, except for three tens, it does show that there are two bags. See that? This is the first one out of these recent ones that I've been showing you um, that has more than one bag. I'm going to just, just for the sake of doing it, I'm going to pull this side back as well and get it a little flatter. Didn't go on as clear as I was hoping. There we go. Nice and flat. Okay, so let's look at these drills. Okay, let's check the number. Um, RCB THY. RCB, THY, yes, they do match. Okay. So our two bags, that the one that has two bags is one. AO1, so there's two bags. And those are pretty big bags. So I'll be back in a second and I'll make sure all the colors are here. Okay, everything is here. Uh, I'm just a little confused about 24 because it says that it's a rhinestone. 093. So I'm not quite sure because those, that's just a 310 color. And I really don't see a difference in the regular round and the rhinestone black. But maybe there is a difference. Maybe it's got more facets on it. But this is a color, let's see, A24 is D. Okay, so it's basically just the outline to the words. But the other rhinestone colors, I mean, they're obviously rhinestone. Here's the blue and a red. And then we have another blue. And we have a green and a yellow. and a purple. So the AB colors, here's the yellow. You can definitely see that those are AB. And here's the green. Look at how pretty those sparkle with that extra coating of AB. So I love this one. Um, it does say the drill area is a 47 by 35. Uh, so that's four, let's say 35, so it's four centimeters by 
five centimeters difference than the drilling area um, and it says 39 by 52 on the website but it's a uh, 40 by 51 so it's just the numbers are translated weird or something I don't know but a total of 25 colors it's it's crazy I just want to do it I want to do it because of all the color blocking I'm just curious as to how long it would take me to actually do something like this with all this color blocking in something this size so um, yeah I you know I'm really torn as to what diamond painting I want to do next all right so I'm gonna put this away and then I will be right back with you with number three well actually number seven so I'll be right back all right here we go with number three or number seven, I should say, because we're almost to the end of the whole haul. This one is um, $25.99. It's called Firefox. It's a 39 by 52. And this is what it looks like right here. I cannot wait to see this one. So I saved the best two for last from this group. The next one is my favorite of them all, but this is my second favorite. And here's how it comes. It's like pulling out a blanket. These are so soft. Ah. All right. So here we are with the key. There are 22 colors. And so this has rhinestones and rounds. Does not look like there are any ABs. But there are six rhinestone colors. And it looks like there's quite a bit of the uh, A18, 1600, and then there's 1100 of that one. Okay, let's just look at this. All right, so here we have the toolkit with all of the goodies that we have in all the other ones. Here are our drills with, oh, look at the rhinestones. I'll compare the numbers here in a second. We got our wax papers in here. Let's pull those out. Let's open this up. Oh my goodness, how vibrant is that? The, look at those blues. Of course, the fox isn't blue, but hey. Never seen a blue fox before. So the drilling area is 47 by 35. So that's just uh, 4 centimeters off and 5 centimeters. So 5 by 4 is what the border is. Oh my goodness. Here, let me show you. Um, it's flattening by itself. I'm just doing this but I'm not doing anything to the canvas I don't need to roll it backwards sometimes I will just to get the edges curled down but it's not necessary and I'll show you the drill field on this just as beautiful as the others and here's our key all letters and numbers Oh, let me show you more. Look at that. All right, there's just a little bit of an air pocket. I want to pull that back and get that out because I am storing these flat, which that's another thing I need to work on. Getting my diamond painting canvases in my stash organized. I know I've been talking about it for a long time, but now that Jim's going to be doing even more in the shop, as long as um, we keep um, things are staying the way they are, we're okay with him working here in the shop. He will. He still takes interviews when he gets called in for them, which he has two interviews right now set up. 
So we'll find out how that goes. But until then, I have a, the extra time to do these things that I've been backed up on in here. So Firefox, look at that. Okay, look how beautiful that is. I love those eyes. They're just looking up at you like, come pet me, come love me. I am so cute. <laughs> Let's look at the drills. Oh, let's compare. RC6 Fox D. RC6 Fox D. Oh, we've got one loose. I'm not sure if it was just an extra. Set it over here. All right, so 22 colors. That's not that many. So won't take but a minute to organize these. But uh, lots of oranges, uh, which is to be expected. This is obviously the main color. It's orange. And. We'll look at these rhinestones in just a second. I just figured I'd organize these real quick so I don't have to pause and fast forward since there aren't a whole lot of things to organize here. And almost done. And the rest of these are rhinestones, so let's take a look. Uh, let's do 17 first. So we have this topaz color, orangish gold, or yellowish gold, I should say. It's very nice, shiny. And here's another a light yellow color. And then a darker yellow. And then we've got a really a light blue, like a sky blue kind of. And another blue. So it looks like a lot of the blues are uh, rhinestones. I'll look on the canvas here in a minute, but look at that. There's some more blues. And then this really dark blue. I'm guessing this is the color of the eyes. So let's see. A22 is R. Yep, inside the eye is that last color there. Uh, A is 21, so that's also in the eye. And in some other places here, the I think this is like flame. So it's mixed in with this flame down here. There's another errant drill. So 20 is J, and that's also in the eye, more of the flame, and L is this part of the, this is also uh, like a, some kind of a sphere, and then there's flame around it, so J is, or is that what we are on? Yeah, J is the light blue that's on the inside, and then T, L and T is this rest of this and then throughout here the shoots off and all this tea over here so that's one of these colors that's uh, 18 so this one but it goes all the way around let me move these so all the yellow in here oh, don't want to lose those all the yellow is Obviously, because there's no other yellow colors, so all the yellow that you see on here is going to be rhinestone. And V as well. And that is like in the ears, around in here, a little bit of the outline, the ears, part of the ears, the little embers that are 
shooting off and over here in the flame over here more of the flame so basically all of the flames are rhinestones so that makes sense and it'll actually really pop the flame out more and accentuate it so that is brilliant to have all of those specific pieces as rhinestones and I have more fuzz on the canvas oh excuse me um I don't know if I should try getting it off I thought it was a drill underneath my canvas so okay that one came off quite easily and it did not remove any of the sticky so that's good all right so this is Firefox again $25.99 on Amazon I will be putting links to each one of these down below in the description section even though they're all in one listing I'll list each one separately so they will pop up when you click each link so I will be right back and I will show you the eighth and final diamond painting in this Star Roar haul all right now are you ready to see the final diamond painting in this video I am I can't wait to see it you want to know what it looks like well it's this one costs $20.99 it is a 40 by 40 um, I'm not quite sure uh, it says 40 by 40 on the outside of the package but the website it says 39 by 52 but the picture does look like it's more squared so this one is a full round um, with a B and rhinestones and this one's called the butterfly fairy and that's what it looks like isn't she cute and all those pretty colors pinks and some purples and blues and they look like they're butterflies in you know in her hair and her hair extends out through the whole thing so she's just got the most darling looking eyes take a look Paper always gets stuck on the adhesive. There we go. Okay, this one has 25 colors, two AB colors, and four rhinestones. So it looks like, well, 5200 is listed after the ABs, so. Let's take a look and see exactly what we have. Toolkit with baggies and everything. And they're, oh, beautiful. And let's get our wax papers out. Oh. There's got to be more. Oh, there they are. Try getting all this stuff out without revealing the diamond painting just yet because I want to see it for the first time with you all right which direction does it open okay like this oh my gosh so it does look like it's more like oh it says a drill area is 35 by 35 so I actually might do this one soonish because it's not that big I mean all of her hair it looks green but I'm hoping it's not because she did it herself and we'll have to look at the drills um when she did it it came out looking just like the picture so there's something black on the canvas here but it's not on the sticky part so hoping that won't affect it 
just want to get some of the wrinkles out of the opaque covering, even though I will, I, I keep this cover on it until I go to do the diamond painting and then I'll replace it with all of the wax pages. So I put those in with my drills when I rebag them because I don't keep this here. I put them in a, a Ziploc bag. All right, so this drill field looks good. Uh, I'm not seeing any blurred symbols. All the reds are perfectly legible. It was just those two that had the issues. All right, so let's look at the drill field. I think it's focused. Maybe I should get closer. There we go. I know it's kind of a glare, but they're very legible. Same key, uh, letters and numbers. And let's just measure this one. I'll just let her know that yeah, it's almost 35. Very, 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 very close. I mean, it is actually just like a millimeter shy of 35. And this direction, it's actually a millimeter over 35. So that makes up for the one that was missing on the other side. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll let her know about the discrepancy in the size because that's a pretty big difference. 39 by 52 um, versus 35 by 35. So it's just probably a typo that needs to be adjusted on the website. But this, uh, this is fairly new. I think this one just came in to the shop. I mean, onto Amazon. And... She sent it to me through Amazon. All right, so let's look at these drills. I love how through the, through the, well, through the camera, it doesn't look green. I mean, it looks green up close. You can see up close how it kind of looks green. But from far away, it looks blonde. Wow, that is so interesting because that definitely looks green. Uh, let's look at the colors to see what they are. Okay, let's compare RCB, FFA. Yep, they match. All right. So what I'm looking for is A and X and E. So, number 10, well, 10 through 13, well, 10 through 14. So 14, it's like a, a brown, so that would kind of make sense because her hair is like a darker brown in, in this area. And this, this actually, this particular one is this light green right in here. So that's that one. Uh, this is more of her, the darker areas of her face. Okay, so 12 is in here as well. So they're more, it's more like a, a dirty blonde color because that's gonna be part of her hair as well. So these two colors, uh, this one here is more of her face. Let's see, and um, this one as well goes in the lighter areas of her face. So those are great face colors. And this is not part of the hair. <laughs> it's pink. I'm gonna try and find the last color that goes to her hair. Here we go. Well, there's one other color. So it's another brown. So it's like a really light brown colored 
hair uh, tin. So this is part of it as well. It's the darkest areas right here in the middle. So it's a really dark brown. So, you know, I'm, I saw the one she did and it, it turned out really great. But here's another one. You know, the picture looks like she has blonde hair, but these are definitely browns. So I'm really curious to see if her hair actually looks brown or if it looks um, blonde because that really is it's hard for me to translate these colors into being this. So I guess you just I just have to finish it and do it to see if that's what it is. All right, so <clears throat> here are some of the other colors, the pinks and the reds that are all around on the butterflies. There's a little bit of blues in there as well. I'll show you the rhinestones in just a second. Let's just get all these out to make sure they're all here. It's 10. Seven, very beautiful red. I think that's, yep, it is 666. And here's our 310. And more reds, mulberry color, pink. See, I love, I love the pinks and the reds. And there's just a little bit of blues and so there's only one actual color that's blue. The rest are um, rhinestone blues. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 18. All right, let's go with 19. Wait, how many rhinestones did I say were in this one? Four? Because... 19 is an AB color. It just, oh yeah, I did say 19 and 20 were AB. Okay, so, oh, 21 is as well, 5200. It doesn't say AB after it, but it is. So there's three AB colors and four rhinestones. All right, so here is 19, this orange. I really, you know, orange is not my favorite color, but this one is really close to a pink. And the AB on it just makes it just, stand out so pretty because it's like I've got a pink shimmer to it. It's really pretty. And then here is uh, the pink. I didn't go over where these were. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is the pink. And it is the J color. So it's... Um, this light pink down here. Looks like this is the only spot that it is. Okay, it's up here too as well in some of the butterflies. And the orange, you will find it, let's see, yes. Okay, the orange butterflies, the orange in the butterflies are gonna be AB, all in here. I don't see any of it down here, but it is in these spots here. And then the white, this lowercase t, look at that. That's so pretty. Uh, that will be the white on the butterflies. So any white you see will be AB. I mean, yeah, AB down in here. And then we get into the rhinestone colors. Okay, the first one is this like crimson red. Not quite crimson, but just maybe just a red. And let's see, that will be letter O. So there's a lot. A lot of this one is rhinestones. So all of this, well, most of this right in here, all of that, all of this right here, some of this down here, here, 
around here, this majority of that there, um, not this, some of this here, down in here, it's mixed in, and then a bunch here, like I said, in her hair, it's all over the place, so that's going to sparkle, and then letter C is this one, this blue, and let's see, that's in the middle of her eye, and around the white butterfly, oh, and there's a bunch of it right here, and then a little bit here and here, and that's about it. And then we have another blue, that one, and that will be also in her eye, and more, oh, this little darker blue here, um, some down in here, a couple here, um, two of them are up there. And it looks like that's it for that. And then the final is this darker blue. And this one you're going to find the majority, well, about half of the eye is in this color. And then some in here, the outlines. So the darker one is more of an outline color. It's not a solid little bit here. So there's not a lot of it, but it's spread out. And you can really see where it goes. So every time I open a diamond painting and I look at it and say, oh, that will be really quick to do. I just want to open it up and start doing it. But I have so much work to do. I don't even have time to kit it up as much as I would really love to right now. I'd really love to do that. I'm almost tempted to just skip work and kit it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad. Anyway, thank you so much, Lucy, for sending all of these to me. I love them all. I love these beautiful colors. I love the canvas. I love the drills. I I love the price. Um, $21 for this one. And look at all the rhinestones and ABs you get. And you get the, the quality. And you get the clarity. It's just... Star Roar quality, what you would expect from Star Roar, and yeah, they're beautiful, and I, I appreciate so much that you sent these to me so that I could show them to everybody for you, and I can't wait to do my next one, so I'm going to go ahead and get this video ended so that I can show the world, <laughs> my little portion of the world. Um, your beautiful diamond paintings and that way they can go and get their own. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you again, Lucy from Star Or. Don't forget to check out her Amazon page. I have them linked down below. And everybody, don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care. Bye.